Well, we are at Thousand Trails Orlando. We're leaving tomorrow, though, to go to one of our favorite RV resorts, and we're going to talk about that here in a second. But I wanted to to upgrade some stuff real quick because we got the newest, latest, greatest stuff from Blue Tech, and this is our R3 water filtration system because I'm a water snob and I have to have my water that tastes good. But we have this on-the-go water softener, and we are going to upgrade to the Blue Tech water softener and we're going to upgrade to all of the metallic stainless steel hoses with all the quick connects so right now we have the blue hose we do have a little stainless steel hose right there but then we have the regular water hose there and one of the reasons that we decided to do this is because we just bought this brand new blue hose and then two days afterwards we have this so some kind of a little rodent or rat or squirrel or something has chewed through that and almost chewed completely into where it's going to cause that to leak and so we're going to upgrade all that i'll pop back in with you here in a second because not only are we going to upgrade all that we're going to change the filters out of our r3 and they've been in there for about four months and i'm just curious what they look like so i want to show you what they look like coming out the old ones and then the new ones going in and then once we get done with the whole setup i'll show you exactly what our new complete blue tech system looks like i can see your face I you're, see your face. You're disgusted by the filters. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. It is pretty nasty. It's only been four months. Huh? Four months. Yeah, let me show you this. So this, I took the old ones out and got the new ones here. So that is just compare those. That's crazy right there. This one you can't really see because it has a plastic cover. But if you look in there, that's nice and brown in there. And then this one's nice and, and clean white compared to that one. And then this one. Oh, man. Look at that side-by-side -side comparison. But that's all the that's all the crap that's been pulled out of our water and surprisingly even with it this dirty still tastes good yeah so but i'm changing it four months anyway i'm out here doing all this stuff anyway yeah. so i might as well change those out different so, places their water is different so you yeah. have to play it by ear they say on the website three to four months so but we've been getting four months i mean even in florida and areas that have bad water uh, so. yeah well there it is there's our new stainless steel hose quick connects on everything in and out of the filter into the softener and into the bay here's the only downfall the only downfall is is i had to take off the water meter on the city water connection because it came out to here and then i'd have to put the adapter that fits into here on there and it pushed it out so far that it, the door wouldn't close so I don't know. I've checked with Blue Tech. They have some like 90 degree fittings and stuff like that. So we may be able to rig this up to get the, the water meter back on. back on. But if not, um, I'll just put it on on days when we're doing boondocking just to know how much water we're putting in there. And then I'll yeah. hook this back up. But it's all, on, it's all on quick disconnects. So everything comes off really quickly. And so that'll make travel days a little easier and yeah. disconnecting everything. It's a nice setup. I like it. Yes. And now we are ready to go to our favorite RV resort in Florida. Yes. Been here a couple times, mm -hmm. and uh, we've never done a campground review before, but we're gonna do a campground review because it's one of our favorites, and we just figured we would we would highlight this place. That's right. And show how, how much we like it. So we'll, we'll head over there tomorrow. But hey, if you're interested in any of this Blue Tech stuff, they got these, these uh, stainless steel hoses, the quick disconnects, they have the water pressure regulators, the filter systems, the Softener. softener all that stuff and uh, we'll leave a link down in the description you can save 10 percent if uh mm -hmm. if you want to buy any blue tech stuff and that, that's that's good for site-wide so whatever you want get your 10 percent off you need it because it's spendy stuff but it's good stuff it Quality works stuff. good stuff yeah, yeah. very happy Thank you to the sponsor of today's video, RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. One of the first things you're always going to want to do when you get your new RV is change out the mattress. Absolutely. Because the mattresses that come in these things, <laughs> it's like sleeping on plywood, yes. honestly. Mm -hmm. um, we have the Aurora Lux yes. in the soft, oh, yeah. in the RV King, <laughs> and it regulates our body temperature. It has like science going on in there that keeps yes. you at a perfect 88 degree sleeping temperature. But if that's not for you, they have a bunch of different styles, a bunch of different firmnesses. Yes. And they're custom made for RVs. Yes. So they will fit in RVs. Exactly. Unlike some regular mattresses that you'll find in the store. They also come with a 120 night sleep trial, a 10 year warranty, and free shipping directly from the factory in Arizona. They don't just have mattresses. 
No. They have accessories. I love accessories. We have the pillows, the sheets. Um, our daughter has one of their weighted, weighted blankets. blankets. They yeah. also have mattress protectors and all kinds of other accessories. Hey, check this out. This is the most coolest part. We can save you 25% mm -hmm. on your next RV mattress with RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. All you gotta do is pop over to the link in the description of the video and use the promo code WAGS and save 25% at checkout. Well, we made it yeah. to our favorite RV resort. We are at the Brazen Brits RV Resort and Campground yep. up by Crystal River, Florida. <laughs> Gracious hosts they are. and uh, But it's a little um, non-typical. Mm -hmm. They only have a couple spots. Yeah. They only have power and water. Yeah. But it's quiet. They make up for it in other ways. It's nice. We're going to show you all the amenities here. <laughs> We're going to point out all the great features, uh -huh. and then at the end, we'll let you know how many stars that yeah. it's rated. Okay. The first thing I want to talk about, though, is the non-traditional payment method. So when you come to the Brazen Brits RV Resort and Campground, you don't pay in cash. No. And it's not like a harvest host. You don't just go in and, you know, buy some wine yeah. like you would at a winery or a brewery or yeah. whatever. So here, you have to, you have to pay in liquid assets let's just call it that you don't have to it's, it's, it's just it's nice just, it's common courtesy yeah and we also brought them a gift it's a little past christmas but we brought them a little gift anyway just mm -hmm. uh for the hospitality that they're showing That's for right, us for the gracious hospitality this is just a little something say a little thank, something just say thank you for letting us smooch talk <laughs> oh yeah that's brilliant oh, yeah. oh my god you even got the dogs in it yes <laughs> i am fabulous that's you might be the best one in the phone oh, I know. No. <laughs> oh look at this we just got here and we've already got a fancy coffee waiting for us and everything man the hospitality at the Brazen Brits RV Resort and Campground is, is top notch. It's not super hard to get in. I had to pull in here and then back up into the driveway up to there. I did cut a little rut in their, in their grass. And there is a little bit of an incline. So it is big rig friendly, but not huge rig friendly. And you can see where some former guests of the resort have not fared as well as we did. So if you got like a huge, huge toy hauler or something like that, you're probably not going to make it up the driveway. You'd have to go over to the dry camping area over there. Over here we have power and we have water and we're on a flat concrete pad, which is really nice. Really close to the, the neighbors, but uh, at least there's not a noise curfew. We can stay up and party as loud and as long as we want. Not only can you get free Wi-Fi while you're staying here, you can also get packages delivered for free. Yeah, when do we get delivered? We would like cups. There's our new cups. Yeah. For the Tampa show. <laughs> That's awesome. Look at the landscaping, man. The grounds here are very well maintained. Nice and clean and neat, just like Leslie likes it. That's right. <laughs> Adjacent to the house and where we're camping at there are a couple of dry camping spaces here there's the camp host there's no hookups out here though this is just dry camping uh, the, the for the moment for the moment but the owners of the resort are working on some upgrades yeah so maybe soon we'll have some some full hookups or at least some power and water out here so that'd be nice too and out here is nice shade so in the summertime you have to stay at the at the Brazen Brits RV Resort, at least you have a little bit of shade. But if you got shade, not so good for Starlink. So you got to take your trade-offs. There's a beautiful pool area to hang out out here. Screened in. Very nice. You can sit out here, hang out, have a meal, barbecue if you want. Inside there's a, a very nice laundry facility and bathhouse. So it's very clean. They keep it up to date. They keep it stocked with plenty of TP, in case you need that. There's a dog park out here for your four-legged furry friends with some agility obstacles, in case you need to get your dog some, some exercise. Right here, Les is going to demonstrate. 
<laughs> Run through the sticks. Run through the sticks. <laughs> You're so good at this. Look at Opie's wife. <laughs> He's like, those are my sticks. That's my course. <laughs> hey, a little kegerator there. You get some adult beverages. And then inside the clubhouse, it's a nice little rec room where you can sit over here, have a good time, play some games, sing some karaoke. And as a matter of fact, we spent a little time in the rec room That's last right. night doing some karaoke and found a unicorn, Leslie, <laughs> singing karaoke. Did I really? You did. <laughs> I'll show you. Okay. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. This is how I picture Cirque du Soleil doing it. You look like you're like riding a bull, really. This is the gym at the RV Resort. They only have one piece of equipment, but it's really fun. And now Leslie's dizzy. Yes, I'm dizzy. But it is fun. <laughs> I must say. Yeah, look at this. They even have a state-of-the-art fitness center for all your workout needs. A couple treadmills, a little bike, some weights. Yeah. You gonna get your exercise on? Uh-huh. Get it. Oh, it's even got a little square. Is this a Peloton? Peloton. Oh, wow, that's fancy. Oh, it automatically starts when you start pedaling. Don't break the stuff. <laughs> Well, that's it. Our time at the Brazen Brits RV Resort is over. Yes, all good things come to an end. Yeah, but it's been a blast. It's, been <laughs> a, it's always a lot of fun. It is. Hanging out here. And thank you to Lawrence and Natalie for being such gracious guests and for being the subject of our little spoof video. Yeah. It's not an actual RV resort, so don't try to call <laughs> no. and book it. Don't try to stay here. It's not no. even a real thing. <laughs> no, it's by invitation only. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a good time. And um, we actually, they did us a really big favor because we had a gap in our booking. Yes. We really couldn't find a place. Well, we could have, but it would have cost them a bunch of money. It so. Yes, it would have. So we took that money that we would have spent on an RV resort <laughs> and bought a bunch of booze and food <laughs> and we just hung out and had a good time. So this was way funner than spending all the money at the resort. Yeah. <laughs> much gooder but hey uh hope you enjoyed the video we just wanted to have a little bit of fun yeah and uh, showcase you know the <laughs> gracious hospitality that the brazen brits had for us cherish your friends that's right <laughs> and it's crazy because if it weren't for this lifestyle if it wasn't for youtube yeah we would never have even met no the brazen brits exactly so if you get nothing else out of this lifestyle <laughs> you at least get lifelong friends that's right so even long after we're done with this uh, we'll still be friends yeah we'll still be absolutely. hanging out stick around for a few seconds we're going to honor a fallen hero if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video appreciate you watching see you next time bye, bye.